Welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 2. I'm Danny. This is the second part of my personal review of the EQ Hotel Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If you haven't watched my part 1 video, you are most welcome to click on the link above to catch up. In this video, I will show you how you can spend your day in this luxurious 5-star hotel and at the meantime, you can see what other facilities and restaurants they have here. I start my day with my breakfast in the all-day dining restaurant at the lobby of this hotel, the Nipa Restaurant. Breakfast starts daily from 6.30am till 10.30am, serving scrumptious breakfast in a buffet style. One can choose the food from Western to Asian or from cold salad to mouth-watering pastries. They even have stations for eggs and noodles making too. I like how the way the food is allocated in this restaurant, where it is not cluttered in one place so that guests can scatter around without queuing. The good varieties of food with the comfortable ambience is really good for one to start the meal of the day here. Seating arrangement is cozy with dining tables for two and in some, they have sofa type for bigger groups. As I look at the design of this place, they did incorporate a Malay village window design as decoration at the seating area too. Here comes the tips for this place. Come for breakfast before 8.30am as this place can be crowded after that. One may have to wait for table after 8.30am, especially during weekend. After breakfast, you can choose to stroll to the neighboring shopping mall or you can be like me, lay back by the swimming pool. All facilities are located at level 29 of the building. The hotel has a stunning infinity swimming pool with a spectacular city skyline as the backdrop. Even if it's only at 29th floor, the view in this outdoor swimming pool is not bad. Swimming in this 25 meters long swimming pool really makes one feel so relaxing. I'm not a good swimmer, but that's not a problem. Immerse at the corner of the pool and enjoy the view while soaking at the temperate water which is kept constantly at 24 to 25 degrees Celsius. One can just sit back and relax as there are plenty of sun loungers at the side of the swimming pool. At the far end is a small garden with chairs for guests or children to play around. Beside the swimming pool is a waiting pool for kids. The swimming pool does not have a pool bar, but icy water is available for free at the side. Beside there is a toilet and shower place too. Here come the tips for this place. Swimming pool can be crowded in the morning as many will use it before breakfast. Evening after 5 pm can be crowded too as it's a good spot for sunset. Meanwhile, it will be closed if it rains for safety reason. So plan your time well if you want to come here. There is another smaller pool located close to the swimming pool where one can enjoy more privacy with the jacuzzi light water. This is the Vitaly Tea Pool. Hedges are grown around this pool so one can enjoy without being interrupted. With the press of a button, the water in the pool rejects with energetic stream all around this pool. One can just sit on a bench located inside the pool and enjoy the water bubbling out around you. This is a good place to be with friends or family member. There is another strong jet stream water at the corner of this pool where one can use it to massage the shoulder and back. 
This vitality pool is not big, so at times it may be many people using it. So probably you have to really stay standby once it is unoccupied. Children are not allowed to enter this pool. Here come the tips of this place. Morning before 11 am is the best time to use this vitality pool as it is less crowded. Next, if you want to burn down some calories, you can head to the gym. It is called a Sanctum Fitness located on level 29 also. The gym is very spacious and equipped with the modern techno gym equipment. The design and color with the correct lighting really gives a powerful impact to someone to start exercising. Most importantly, the gym is spacious so that people like me won't feel embarrassed when start breathing deeply. The gym is also open to outsiders with membership from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. For hotel guests, it is open 24 hours. The gym also conducts different classes every day, so check with the reception for the actual schedule for the specific classes. Here come the tips for this place. Get a key for the locker from the spa reception located outside the gym. After some time of sweating up, it's time to cool down and freshen up. There is a spa area in the locker room. Both male and female locker room has the same facility inside and in my case, I will show you the male area. After getting your locker key from the reception, you can use the locker to store whatever valuable stuff here. There are towels available. The place is clean and tidy. At one corner is the shower area and toilet. I prefer using the spa. The highlight is the tropical monsoon shower area where the different type of shower will rain down from the ceiling. Meanwhile, the ceiling is illuminated with LED lights to make one feel like showering under the stars. With the press of this button, one just needs to walk through as the shower changes one by one. The first one is reading shower with orange lighting. Then followed by misty shower with blue lighting. And the last one will be a downpour of water in red lighting. The water is temperate so you won't go shivering. After the shower, you can come out from the other side. Next to the tropical monsoon shower area is the Himalayan salt sauna where one can sit inside and get to sweat more. Not to be missed is there is an aromatherapy steam bath too. They have the lighting changes in color constantly. This place really makes me feel so refreshing. Here come the tips for this place. It's operate from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. As the gym opens 24 hours for hotel guests, they may not be able to use this place after this hour, meaning they have to shower in their room after the gym session. There is a sanctum spa where one can enjoy different type of signature massages too, but it's on your own expenses so I never really visited this place. It should be afternoon after all those healthy routines. One can take an afternoon nap, or if you want to share your experience in this hotel with your friends, you can invite them to one of the restaurants or cafe in this hotel. The hotel has five restaurants and cafe. Beside the Nipah restaurant where I have my breakfast, the Itol Bistro is a cafe that located at the second lower ground floor. It has a very friendly Malaysian street style design in it. Then there is a Japanese restaurant called Kampachi. They're located just next to the reception area at the lobby, serving authentic Japanese cuisine. 
I am not a clubber and doesn't like noisy and crowded place. But if you like to hang out in a bar or club, you shouldn't miss the Blue Bar or Sky 51 at the Sky Lounge in Level 51. This place is the signature of the hotel as it is located at the rooftop of the building. Let me give you a thoroughly information here as many never knows. The Sky Lounge is open daily from 5 p.m. until 1 midnight. If you are an outsider, it's free from Monday to Thursday. A fee of 50 ringgit is charged from Friday to Sunday with one free beverage from the menu. If you are a hotel guest like me, it's free from Monday to Thursday too. A fee of 50 ringgit is charged from Friday to Sunday from 9 p.m. onwards, meaning hotel guests can enjoy free entrance from 5 p.m. till 9 p.m. on weekend. Reason they charge after 9 p.m. on weekend is because there is DJ playing music and also live band performing too. Now let me show you the way if you are an outsider intent to go to the Sky Lounge. There will be hotel staffs at the hotel entrance to assist you and just in case you cannot get one, follow this road all the way inside to the lobby and you will see the escalator down on your left. Go straight down to the lower ground floor and turn left and you will see a reception for the Sky Lounge to check in or pay at the far end. After checking in, there will be staffs bringing you up all the way to the rooftop using the access card for the lift. As for hotel guests like me, you can use your room card key to access to the rooftop after it is open at 5pm. To beat the crowd, I went to check the place out right after it opens. Upon coming out from the lift, one will pass by the corridor with the wall illuminated with LED lights like stars. After doing the check-in at the reception, the staff will bring me in passing the lift door. Inside, there are three restaurants, the Sabayon, a fine dining area which I never visit because it is too expensive for me. Then, there is an indoor bar called Blue Bar where one can enjoy live band at night. And the one that many will be very interested to visit is the outdoor bar called Sky 51. Here, you can get to see the KL skyline while enjoying your drink. This is the best spot for sunset viewing too. At night, you can see the night scene of the KL city as well. At 9pm on weekend, there will be a DJ playing music where one can really chill out for the night. The seating is not many, so one really have to do a reservation during peak time like 7pm onwards, especially during weekend. There is a stairway to a deck where most people will like to take photos where I'm doing it too. So this is a rough one day program that I have planned if you intend to have a staycation in this hotel. Here come the tips for this place. If it rains during evening or night, the outdoor bar will be closed and move to the blue bar at the indoor which is a little bit smaller. I guess this is a test of luck whenever one intends to visit any rooftop bar in any place. There is dress code in this sky lounge which is smart casual. No short pants, no slippers allowed. I hope you enjoy my video on the facilities and restaurants of this 5-star EQ hotel. Please do subscribe my channel if you want to watch more of my videos and appreciate that if you do so as it means a lot to me. Here is my overall rating for this hotel from the hotel common area, room, facilities to the restaurants. I hope to see you again on my next video. Until then, bye!